Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. I am Joe Beretta. When Matthew Sheet she was 17 years old, he got a job at Osceola Regional Medical Center. In August 2011, Matthew got an actual job as a clerk at a doctor's office and went to the medical center to get a badge and turn in some paperwork. But somebody at the hospital screwed up the paperwork. And Matthew took immediate advantage. He stated, their error was putting me in apparently as a physician assistant into their computer. Let's even say that I said I was a physician assistant. Let's even say that I was. Are you that stupid that you're just going to put me in the system as that without any credentials or any paperwork or nothing. Let's say somebody's sick and they need surgery. Let's say I, I cut them open. Let's say I take out both their kidneys and replace them with collectible beanie babies. Are you that stupid that you're not going to check to see if somebody's insides are now made of adorable plush toys? I made that last part up. That was fun. Yeah. Beanie babies. Ah! <laughs> what I added to the whole situation that we're currently talking about. Prosecutors said that this 17 year old used his badge to work in the hospital for weeks. He'd change bandages, handle IVs, and help conduct exams. Seriously, he'd help conduct exams on other humans. I don't know if this kid is the biggest jackass that we've ever heard of or some sort of hero who should be on a show like Jackass. Ooh, she it admitted to also performing CPR on someone who was experiencing a drug overdose, a task that can break somebody's chest if done incorrectly. She it she defended his actions by saying, I felt so uncomfortable even doing that. And you know, the only reason why I did it was because there was nobody else in there and I'm not gonna let her die. He's not gonna let her die. Do you guys hear that? He's a hero. He was just doing his best. He was making lemonade out of medically administered lemons. He was arrested in September of 2011 and allowed out on bond. But then in January, he was arrested for impersonating a police officer. You know, things happen. Sometimes you end up with a, with a uniform and you end up, you know, pulling somebody over and arresting them, taking them back to jail. I understand completely. Taking them back, locking them in your bedroom. I get it. That. You've been there. Mm -hmm. We've all been there. Shit is like that guy from Catch Me If You Can, Frank Abagnale, except this was just a stupid kid. And his name is Shit. When the hospital staff was asked to comment about someone pretending to be a doctor's assistant, no one was available. Mm. Hmm. Weird. I'm guessing because they were too busy saving people and botching the paperwork. Think about it, you guys. Think about it right now. Just take a second. How many people in the world right now are pretending to be things? Like, have you even, like, talked to your parents about this? Are you sure that they're your parents? What about you? Are you you? Have you looked in the mirror lately? Are you the you that you want to be? Or are you somebody else? Follow your dreams. Set some goals. Articulate what they are. Small goals. Work Write them down. Medium goals, it helps. Goals. Statistically proven to help. Write them down. You can do better. Put them in your live journal. She it was convicted of four felonies, two counts of impersonating a physician's assistant, and two counts of practicing medicine without a license. And sentenced Wednesday to a year in jail, a year of house arrest, and eight years of probation. So have fun with that, buddy. Now, if you guys at home could be anything in the world, any career at all, with absolutely zero training, you jump into it tomorrow, what would it be? Tell us in the comment section down below and try to format it like a resume we will read and then hire you during comment commentary. And then do all like the like and subscribe things and then clicking of annotations for us and we'll be like, she. Yeah. Then go to sourcefed.com and check out all the rest of our news and stuff. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Ellie Morgan. We look forward to your submission. Thanks mm -hmm. for coming in today. You look we great. appreciate your time. Excellent choice on the top. This is a very fun atmosphere to work in. Take off your pants.